Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Khan, but you guys can call me Superior, bringing you an updated class set of video. Now, it has been, um, you know, quite a while since I've done some of these, and my classes have changed quite a bit since they did come out with the brand new um, thing where you can buy more classes. So, I'm going to give you guys a bunch of more classes than just the uh, the basic five that I gave you guys before. So. Let's jump right into this. So my first class is my light machine gun class. If you guys have not used the M27, it is an absolute monster at close range, medium range, long range. It's pretty much an automatic sniper rifle. Um, but I have the grip and suppressor on it just because I have suppressor on pretty much every class because it keeps you off the radar. And, uh, you know, grip really minimizes the recoil. And since it is an LMG and you're going to be using it um, at longer ranges, you know, definitely having grip on it does help. And I have that sexy, sexy spectrum camo, which I've had for quite a while now. Uh, perks, I have stalker just because you move so slow with this gun that it's nice when you're out of sprint to be able to aim down sight, help you pre and kind of get the jump on your enemies. And then I have dead silence and amplify you guys know i use those perks all the time and uh, you guys know that i love them to death and then i have focus and hardline focus really helps me win win gunfights because if i get shot once and i don't have that you know i'm aiming all over the world so i can't really recover from that and then i have hardline um just because it's hardline you know i did assist counts as kills help me get chem strikes at like 20 kills sometimes so you know and it's it helps you get all your specials perks faster it's really you cannot go wrong with hardline uh, as far as the strike package goes i have specialist with scavenger as my first perk just because you're going to run out of ammo pretty fast as you will with any weapon and then i have sleight of hand because it's a freaking lmg and it takes for ever to reload and then i have quick drop because this is an lmg and it may be a great gun but it definitely has its drawback so one of those is how long it takes to aim down sight as a bonus i have two speed perks i have Mar marathon and agility because you definitely do not move that quickly at all when using an lmg uh then i have off the grid and resilience off the grid because i don't want to die by a set com that knows where i am and resilience because i don't want to fall and die Anyway, moving on to the next one, uh, pretty much a similar class with the SA-805 with grip and suppressor. SA-805 is a very underrated weapon, good at pretty much any range, and uh, does kind of have bad iron sight. So if you do want to take the grip off and put on red dot sight, uh, you know, that's really understandable. And then I have ready up, quick draw, and stalker, and every single one of those perks kind of work together in order to give you a better experience and a better chance at killing your enemies um so those are you know some perks that definitely takes up quite a few perk slots but they will help you uh when your gunfights then i have focus which kind of works along with those perks and help you win gunfights and then i have tack resist which you can trade out for blast shield uh which i think i'll do right now but just because blast shield and tack resist no one really uses stun grenades anymore but a lot of people use ieds and um you know you really don't want to get blown up by an ied and a kill streak because let's be honest nothing's worse than that and then you guys can take a look at the strike package and pause the video whenever you like uh, to kind of get a better look at my classes so moving on with the ak-12 i have suppressor and extended mags uh just because this gun runs on a bullet extremely fast it is pretty high recoil but uh you know you kind of have to put up with that since you can't really you know you can't have grip and extended mags unless you don't want to have extended mags on or you wanted to put on the extra attachment perk which takes up about three spots but i have stalker because it helps you move down move down faster I'm, what am i trying to say it helps you move around faster while aiming down sight then i have dead silence and amplify like i said those work together and then focus and hardline and once again the strike package that's probably my most used um specialist bonus setup right there just because you know all the perks are helpful and no matter what gun you're using they they will definitely come in handy so here we have the remington r5 the remington is a gun with pretty bad iron sights but amazing damage and amazing accuracy accuracy so you don't really need grip and uh, instead of that you can put it on the red dot site and i do actually have a blue dot on it just because you know i thought why not might as well change it up and then i don't actually have quick draw on the normal perks and that's something you won't see a lot on my sorry for classes so, but instead i put ready up which pretty much does the same thing and uh, stalker is nice for pre-aiming around corners and i think if you have stalker and ready up uh, for only one perk slot more you can pretty much get the same effect of as quick draw but um you know combined with stalker does a much better job and then i have resilience on which is pretty much the only weird thing about this class just because i had one left perk slot and i did not want to fall and die because that'd be embarrassing and then here's my famous honey badger class that i use in nearly 
every single gameplay, and I'm not proud to say that. But, um, you know, if you want a good class, definitely this is the one I'd recommend right here. Um, if you don't have a decent headset, I mean, you don't even need a good headset like 840s, but if you just have a cheap pair of, like, $30 Turtle Beaches, even just put on Amplify, and I promise you will see, see a huge difference in your gameplay. Uh, moving on, this is my Ripper class. You guys saw my video about this a few days back. Uh, Ripper's a great gun, but if you didn't pay 50 bucks or whatever it was for the season pass, uh, don't really stress about it. You can pretty much put on any SMG you want. Um, in place of the Ripper, and it's still a fantastic class. Moving on, this is the Bulldog. This class is basically my... I'm pissed at the other team, and, um, you know, I'm just I'm just going to try and piss them off and do anything that I can to kind of get the better of them. And it's just a bunch of speed perks, a bunch of just run around and fuck shit up, for be lack of a better term. Uh, so try this out. Um, I should probably fill up the specialist bonus, and I'll do that right here on the video. Sleight of hand help me reload faster, and we have room for one more. Um, I'm going to go with recon, just because I don't want gambler, because I'll get on the go. And since I don't have a secondary, I'm not able to YY or sprint to cancel reload. So once I press X, I have to reload, unless I knife. And gambler seems to give me on the go 9 times out of 10. So uh, next we have the vector class setup. Vector is a freaking amazing best S probably the best smg in the game next to the um probably the ripper or the mtar but i have grip and suppressor on it just like every other class and i have ready up and sleight of hand just because ready up's nice to help you i aim down sight faster after you're done sprinting sleight of hand helps you reload faster since it is an smg you're probably going to be rushing around in the enemy spawn uh so sleight of hand's definitely a must and then i have dead silence amplify you guys know why i use those same with focus and then i have ping ping is a perk that i've kind of in the trial stages right now just because um you know a lot of people use off the grid and you know whenever you kill someone and it puts off that little radar around them um you don't see too many enemies around them too often but every once in a while you will get a whole bunch of them and it will come in clutch so i definitely think so, think it's worth the two uh the two perks so next we have the maverick maverick is a freaking amazing gun i think i have a total of like I don't know, over 10 chem strikes with this gun, which isn't that many as you look at my other weapons, but seeing as I don't really use it that often, uh, but uh, every time I do use it, it seems like I can pull out a decent gameplay, so definitely try out this class setup. It's a little different than all my other ones, but it definitely is great. And last but not least, I have the MTAR, and uh, feel free to look at the perks. It's pretty much the same as all my other SMG class setups, but, you know, it still definitely is a monster of an SMG, and you just look it, it looks even better with the spectrum cam i mean look at my character right there with it but that is about it for this video guys i probably will still do best class setup series with different weapons because there are a lot of them i haven't covered um i have a bunch of great ones coming up in the future anyway guys subscribe if you guys are new really does help me out leave a like if you guys enjoyed and uh, drop a comment down below what you guys want to see in the future and other than that have a fantastic day everybody i am out Oh, <laughs>